Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the history and evolution of Samsung phones, one of the most popular and innovative smartphone brands in the world. Samsung has been making phones since 1988, but it was not until 2010 that it launched its flagship Galaxy series that changed the game for Android devices. In this video, I will show you how Samsung phones have evolved over the years, from the first SGH models to the latest Galaxy S and Galaxy Note series. I will also share some interesting facts and features about each generation of Samsung phones. So sit back, relax and enjoy this journey through Samsung's phone history. The first mobile phone designed and manufactured in Korea was the SH-100, which was released in 1988 by Samsung. It was a basic phone with a monochrome display and a numeric keypad. It could only make and receive calls and store up to 100 contacts. It was followed by the SCH-100 in 1996, which was the first CDMA mobile phone by Samsung. CDMA stands for Code Division Multiple Access, which is a technology that allows multiple users to share a single radio channel. In 2000, Samsung introduced the SCH V200, which was the first mobile phone with a built-in camera. It had a VGA camera that could take up to 20 photos and store them on an internal memory of 1.5 megabytes. It also had a flip design and a color LCD screen. It was followed by the SGH T100 in 2002 which was the first mobile phone with a color LCD screen by Samsung. It had a sleek design and a 65K color display. In 2009, Samsung launched its first Android smartphone, the GTI 7500, also known as the Galaxy. It had a 3.2-inch AMOLED touchscreen, a 5-megapixel camera with LED flash, and an 8GB internal memory. It ran on Android 1.5 Cupcake and supported Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and 3G connectivity. In 2010, Samsung launched its first flagship smartphone of the Galaxy S series, the GTI 9000 or the Galaxy S. It had a 4-inch Super AMOLED touchscreen, a 5-megapixel camera with autofocus and HD video recording, and a 1GHz processor. It ran on Android 2.1 Eclair and supported Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and 3G connectivity. In 2011, Samsung launched its first phablet of the Galaxy Note series, the GTN 7000 or the Galaxy Note. A phablet is a device that combines the features of a smartphone and a tablet. The Galaxy Note had a 5.3-inch Super AMOLED touchscreen with a stylus pen called the S Pen, an 8-megapixel camera with autofocus and HD video recording, and a 1.4GHz dual-core processor. It ran on Android 2.3 Gingerbread and supported Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and 3G connectivity. In 2013, Samsung launched the Galaxy S5, which was the first smartphone with a fingerprint scanner and water resistance by Samsung. It had a 5.1-inch Super AMOLED touchscreen with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection, a 16-megapixel camera with autofocus and HDR video recording, and a 2.5-gigahertz quad-core processor. It ran on Android 4.4 KitKat and supported Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, NFC, infrared port, and LTE connectivity. In 2016, Samsung launched the Galaxy S7, which was the first smartphone with dual-pixel autofocus and an always-on display by Samsung. Dual-pixel autofocus is a technology that allows faster and more accurate focusing by using two photodiodes for each pixel on the sensor. An always-on display is a feature that allows some parts of the screen to remain active even when the phone is locked or asleep. The Galaxy S7 had a 5.1-inch Super AMOLED touchscreen with Corning Gorilla Glass 4 protection, a 12-megapixel camera with dual-pixel autofocus and HDR video recording, and a 2.3-gigahertz octa-core processor. It ran on Android 6 Marshmallow and supported Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, NFC, infrared port, and LTE connectivity. In 2019, Samsung launched the Galaxy Fold, which was the first foldable smartphone by Samsung. A foldable smartphone is a device that can be folded to change its size and shape. 
The Galaxy Fold had a 7.3-inch dynamic AMOLED touchscreen when unfolded and a 4.6-inch Super AMOLED touchscreen when folded. It had a total of six cameras, three on the back, two on the inside, and one on the front. It had a 2.8 GHz octa-core processor and a dual battery system with wireless charging and reverse wireless charging. It ran on Android 9 Pie and supported Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, NFC, and LTE connectivity. In 2020, Samsung launched the Galaxy Note 20, which was the last model of the Galaxy Note series before it was discontinued Superscript 1. The Galaxy Note series was known for its large screen size, powerful performance, and stylus pen functionality. The Galaxy Note 20 had a 6.7-inch dynamic AMOLED touchscreen with Corning Gorilla Glass Victus protection, a triple rear camera, 12MP main, with hybrid zoom and HDR10 plus video recording, and a Snapdragon 865 plus chipset. It ran on Android 10.1 UI and supported Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, NFC, infrared port, and LTE connectivity. In 2022, Samsung launched the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and the Galaxy Z Flip 4 which were the fourth generation of foldable smartphones by Samsung. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 had a larger cover screen, 6.2 inches, and main screen, 7.6 inches, than its predecessor, both with dynamic AMOLED technology. It had a triple rear camera, 12MP main, with OIS, optical image stabilization, an HDR10 plus video recording, and an under-display selfie camera, 10MP. It had a Snapdragon X60 chipset with support for sub-6 GHz and MM wave bands for ultra-fast 5G connectivity Superscript 1. The Galaxy Z Flip 4 had a flip-style design that could be folded into half to fit into smaller spaces. It had a larger cover screen, 1.9 inches, than its predecessor, with Super AMOLED technology. It had a dual rear camera, 12MP main, with OIS and HDR10 plus video recording, and an under-display selfie camera, 10MP. It had a Snapdragon X60 chipset with support for sub-6 GHz and MM wave bands for ultra-fast 5G connectivity. In 2023, Samsung launched the Galaxy S23 Ultra, which was the latest flagship smartphone of the Galaxy S series. The Galaxy S23 Ultra had a stunning design with metal frame and glass back. It had a massive display, 6.9 inches, with dynamic AMOLED technology and Corning Gorilla Glass Victus protection. It had an impressive camera system, 200MP main, with OIS, optical image stabilization, PDAF, face detection autofocus, laser autofocus, periscope telephoto lens with optical zoom up to X10 and digital zoom up to X100 superscript 1. It had a Snapdragon X65 chipset with support for sub-6 GHz and MM wave bands for ultra-fast 5G connectivity. Samsung also launched some mid-range smartphones in this year. The Galaxy A54 5G, 8GB RAM, which had a Super AMOLED display, 6.4 inches, a triple rear camera, 50MP main, with OIS, IP67 rating for water and dust resistance, and NFC support. The Galaxy A34 5G, 8GB RAM, which had a Super AMOLED display, 6.6 inches, a triple rear camera, 48MP main, with OIS, IP67 rating for water and dust resistance, NFC support, Gorilla Glass protection, wireless charging, reverse wireless charging, stereo speakers, Dolby Atmos sound, under-display fingerprint scanner, face recognition Superscript 2 Superscript 3, Bixby Voice Assistant, Dex Mode, Knox Security, Secure Folder, Game Launcher, Game Booster, Link to Windows, Smart Switch, Smart View, Smart Things, AR Zone, Live Transcribe, Live Caption, Screen Recorder, Edge Panel, Edge Lighting, One Hand Operation Plus, Quick Share, Music Share. The Galaxy F14 5G, 8GB RAM, which had an Exynos 1330 processor with Frevolution Performance.